Oh yeah, this is a follow-on from Steve Ledger's uh, How to Make Bevels, um, such as um, for the shop like for buttons, uh, but this time in uh, using web uh, Zara Web Designer. Um, just hold down the control key to ensure you get a square. Uh, just give that a colour. I want to edit. The problem we've got with Zara Web Design is um, when you create a, a, a rectangle, you can't click on any of the nodes to select them. So that's me just make creating another line. So usually in Zara Extreme, you go arrange, combine, convert to editable shapes. Uh, it hasn't got that function uh, in Zara Web Designer, but you can go combine shapes, and you can't see it because my stupid menu system, but add shapes. And notice that that becomes a shape now. If I undo it before, it was a rectangle, and although I've added one shape, it's now become a shape, and I can now get hold of these nodes and move them around. Right, so I'm going to edit, copy shape, so I've got a copy of that on the clipboard. Next thing I've got to do is create a line. I'm going to draw a line within the limits of the square. Give it a black color so you can see it. Um, and drag select over the two of them. So I've got two objects. Arrange, uh, alignment, apply, close. Just drag select over to select the line. Hold down the shift key. And holding down the shift key, that line goes equally spaced along the way as you spread it out. Um, rotate that 45 degrees um, and then control K to make a copy of it. And there's the copy. Um, and then flip it horizontally. Right, now I'm going to get one of the lines and the square, arrange, combine shapes, slice. Sorry, you can, again, you can't see that. That's what it says. Um, and I'll just give that a different colour. Um, I'm going to temporarily group them at the moment, under all group, select that group and the line, two objects, arrange, combine shapes, slice, track that, I'll say two groups and we'll go arrange, ungroup, so they're no longer groups, put that one as a darker green, and that one as a it's, I'm not too worried about the pebble at the moment. So there's your, your four shapes. Uh, I'm just going to temporary now, control group. I'm going to control shift V to paste a copy of that on, and I'm going to send that to the back. Um, that's just to fill in any, any white spaces you sometimes get around the lines. Now control shift V again, this time holding down the shift key. Just move it in like that, and the whole thing's moved in. I'll change the colour of that slightly. So it's there. And I'll copy that, edit, copy to clipboard. Right. Now if I go like that, no, I don't want to do that. I want to get hold of the group on that rectangle, arrange, combine shapes, subtract shapes. You now see we've got that shape and the background shape. I'm going to control shift V the other one, uh, I'm going to do ungroup, arrange, ungroup that group. Now I can drag select over that. Now when I go, go like that on the nodes, it selects all the nodes and I can move them around. I can do the same with that one here and you get a very nice button shape. Uh, here's one, oh, sorry. <coughs> Here's one that uh, Bill created earlier on, um, using his suggestion of um, linear fills, so you get a rounded one, and you can do the same with that. Um, hopefully, I haven't tried it. Yes, and that will come down, and you can move that around. Uh, similarly, you can move these out. No, they doesn't quite work as well. That that's probably something wrong with the way I put this. Thing on the thing on. But anyway, I hope that helped. Um, that's the way um, they use to create um, beveled buttons in Zara Web Designer. Thanks a lot.